check out what's right behind me. So if you're like most people, when you think about Nepal, you probably think about Himalayas and huge mountains. What you probably didn't know is that Nepal is home to jungles like these with tigers and lots of rhinos and elephants and all kinds of other animals. And in this video, we're gonna explore Chitwan National Park on the border of Nepal and India, home to some of the craziest wildlife in the world. So it's 6.30 a.m. I'm getting this breakfast from this really cool hotel where I'm staying at, but the guys are super friendly. And today is gonna to be a huge day because I am in Chitwan National Park, one of the best places in Asia for seeing just big mammals. Oh, it's ready. Sweet, ready to go. We're in this canoe that's made out of one tree trunk. We're gonna use this to go on the Chitwan River. We're gonna spend probably like 45 minutes to an hour on here trying to spot some animals. bit faster now. I think that's because we're moving, we're entering a shallower part of this river. And we've seen two crocodiles so far, but barely just the eyes sticking out. Not enough to like get videos of them. That's a huge crocodile. Yeah, we finally saw a full crocodile just basking and tanning in the sun. off the canoe and in the jungle. We're definitely starting to see a lot of elephant poop. So for a while we were following the footprints of some rhinos and then like finally by the bank of this river we see a rhino sleeping in the water and now it's like waking up and looking at us. So I just saw some elephants that were like all chained up and the reason was because they're domesticated, which makes no sense. If you didn't know, elephants are wild animals. They're not supposed to be domesticated. They don't live good lives when they're domesticated. You're required to wear long pants on this jungle walk that I'm doing right now because you're walking in tall grass and everything. Problem is I donated my like light hiking pants that I had for the Himalayas a few days ago. So the only pair of long pants I have are these black jeans which are suffocating in this heat and it's really starting to get hot. And it's only 9 a.m. and it's gonna go up to like 37 degrees Celsius today and be very, very humid. Yeah, and you need to pay So we got our tickets and everything else sorted. Now we have to cross the river again to actually go into the national park with the animals. If we are must be disturbed to them, they are must be aggressive. So we're going through this area called the river and forest lands. So we're on top of this tower, our viewpoint, where we're finally allowed to talk, I think. Here next to the spot with a lot of elephant grass and we just saw a family of deer behind us over there. So our guides are climbing up on trees to look for animals. So we saw our second rhino and our first ever rhino in the park, but it was hiding in the tall grass so we couldn't really see most of it and then it like went away. Back to the hotel for lunch break. All right, we're getting on a jeep now to go on another safari and we're crossing the river again. Okay, it's 36 degrees Celsius and we're in the jeep. Thank God it's in the shade. I just saw a lot of langurs. two more rhinos, but uh, the male ran away when it saw us and the females kind of hiding in the water because it's so hot. <laughs> Alright, 
Today I learned what deer sound like. So we just found this rhino grazing by the river near a lot of people. It's like our eighth rhino we saw today. Right now we're in this place not too far from the main bank where they're rehabbing two baby rhinos that were rescued and they're sort of keeping them in here because they're still supposedly too young uh, to protect themselves from tigers out there because tigers eat baby rhinos. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, yesterday was <laughs> It was impossible to pet them, but they were super cute and one of them was a lot cuter than the other one. <laughs> the baby one. Did we go that way? Yeah. Okay. That's it for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see real-time travel updates from wherever I am, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'll catch you guys in the next video from I don't know where because I'm leaving Nepal in three days.